Are there hard things in life that you have to do that you just don't want to do? Well, let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into the Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. Now today's episode, we're going to be way different from the normal. I know that I've committed to talking about real estate with you every Friday. But today, I want to get personal. There are things in life that are just hard to do. And if we could choose, we would choose not to do them. Well, what motivated me to want to talk about this with you guys today? Well, for parents, what motivates most of us? Our kids. Mm. Okay, so somewhere along the line, my kids decided that when something's too hard, well, they can just choose to not do it and quit. Mm, Well, I know that doesn't sit right with with us parents and all the teachers out there and, well, frankly, anybody, because in life, we all have really hard things or difficult things that we don't want to do that we have to do. So let me talk about my kids for a minute. Yeah. I mean, you've got the simple things, right? Like, sure, brushing your teeth and washing your hands takes too long, so you don't want to do it. But kid, (laughs) if you don't want to have bad breath and you want to keep having good teeth and you want to have that charming, beautiful smile, you're going to have to brush your teeth thoroughly. And you know what? Mama's not going to buy you some kid dentures, so take care of your teeth. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's simple. Now, let's talk about the more complicated. Our soon-to-be 12-year-old decided that certain assignments in school were just too hard, so he just didn't want to do them, so he didn't. It prompted the conversation with him about what we're talking about today, so that was my motivation for us. So I had to explain to him, look, Everybody has things that are hard to do that we just don't want to do. Things that make us uncomfortable, things that are challenging, things that are difficult. But we all have those things. And, you know, as a parent, there are, for example, conversations that are uncomfortable for our kids and uncomfortable for us to have. But we don't like doing it. I promise you, we would rather be playing a game, watching a movie or having ice cream and laughing with you not grounding you or punishing you. And you know, as an adult, not just a parent, but as an adult, we have things that we don't like to do too, that we have to do every day. And we don't want that either. For me and my job, oh, I love this. So when I told my son, well, there's things that I have to do at work that aren't fun to do, but I still have to do them. And he's like, well, but you love your job. That doesn't make sense. Yes, I am blessed to love what I do in real estate. But there are still things in what I do, not the whole scope, but there are still some things that are hard to do and I don't enjoy doing them, but I do them because it's necessary to make sure I can get to all the fun things that I can do that I love with my job. And part of that is sometimes I have to tell my clients things that I don't think they're gonna like to hear but I do it because it's important to them so they can make the right decisions for themselves in their home buying or selling process. And it helps them know that I care about them and it keeps that trust building and they wanna keep working with me. So there's my positive outcome. Also, there's other things I have to do like, you know, calling and talking to people I don't know and I've never met. That can sometimes be uncomfortable, but I do it. So that way I can meet more people that I get the privilege to help. I think it's sunk in with my soon to be 12 year old, but I guess time will only tell. And for me to, and my family to keep being a positive example for the kids. So yes, I veered off course of real estate a little bit, but this I felt passionate about and I wanted to talk about it with you. So, you know, in regards to real estate, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home and you're kind of scared because you feel like it's gonna be too difficult or a challenge, well, call us at the number below. All right, so bringing it back to real estate, if you are thinking about buying or selling a home, 
give us a call at the number below because my team would be honored to help you through the process. Even if you think it might be hard or might be difficult process for you to go through, our team is here to help guide you and walk you through every step of the way. That way, it's more fun than stressful or hard. We want it to be a positive experience for you. All right, so in the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a new video out for you every Friday. Yeah.